In an era of growing environmental concerns and the pressing need for sustainable practices, amendments to environment protection rules have become a crucial instrument for addressing the complex challenges that our planet faces. These amendments represent a dynamic and evolving approach to safeguard our environment, reflecting the latest scientific insights, challenging social priorities and emerging environmental threat. Hey, I am Shivam. In this video, we are going to talk about what are the latest amendments has happened in Environment Protection Rules 1986. So, we are going to talk about two amendments which is called third and fourth amendments in Environment Protection Rules. Let's talk about the latest amendment which is called Environment Protection Rules 2023. Ministry of Environment and Forest has brought an amendment in Environment Protection Rules 1986 which is called as Environment Protection Fourth Amendment Rules 2023. Let's understand the key changes in the rules. This notification was amended on 14th June 2023, wherein a provision was inserted in general condition granting exemption from revised standard to all genset and genset engine manufacturers for supply and manufacturer of genset engines up to 30th June 2024 against the purchase order issued on or before 30th June 2023 means the old kind of genset can be manufactured till 30th June of 2023 only. Let's talk about just a previous amendment to this Environment Protection Rule which was called Environment Protection Amendment Rules 2022. According to Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change notification, these rules may be called the Environment Protection Third Amendment Rules 2022. So these rules will be coming in force from 1st July 2023. So these rules were made on 3rd November of 2022. According to this third amendment in Environment Protection Rules 2022, emission standards were set for the DG set, which includes the DG set up to 800 kilowatt mechanical power, which includes first diesel engines, second engines based on dedicated alternate fuels, third engines based on biofuels run either on gasoline or any other of the alternate fuels, fourth one engine based on the dual fuel run on diesel and any of alternate fuels. Fifth one, portable generator sets below 19 kilowatt. So the emission limits for the new engines up to 800 kilowatt used for genset shall be effective from 1st July 2023 as specified in the table 1 and table 2. So emissions limit has been shown as per particular table where NOx, HC, oxide of nitrogen, carbon monoxide, particular matter has been displayed. Anox means oxide of nitrogen, HC means hydrocarbon, CO means carbon monoxide, PM means particular matter and CI means compression ignition system, PI means positive ignition system. Emission limits for the portable gensets up to 19 kilowatt powered by PI engines has been displayed in this particular table number 2 where categories carbon monoxide level, oxide of nitrogen and hydrocarbons has been mentioned. So the new gensets has to be manufactured with these emissions level which has to meet with the shown emission standards. Question is what is the applicability of these standards? These general conditions shall apply to all new engines for power generation applications and products manufactured, assembled or imported to India. These rules shall not apply to engine or product assembled or manufactured or imported for the purpose of export outside India. What is the requirement of certification for this DG set? So domestic manufacturer, importer or assembler of engines for power generation up to 800 kilowatt and engine displacement more than 800 cc and of portable gensets up to 19 kilowatt shall obtain type approval from authorized certifying agency and also comply with conformity of production test of their products. Who is the nodal agency for these standards? The Central Pollution Control Board shall be the nodal agency for implementation of these rules. Who are the authorized agencies for certification of these DGs and set? Automotive Research Association of India, Pune Maharashtra, International Center for Automotive Technology, Manesar Haryana, Indian Institute of Petroleum, Dehradun are authorized to carry out the witness such test as they may be deemed necessary for giving certification of type, approval and conformity of production for engines and genset for power generation application. So these rules are mainly to distinguish about the emission standard for the DG genset which has been described 
with two tables table 1 and table 2 so table 1 talks about the dg sunset which are made from 19 kilowatt to up to 800 kilowatt their emission standard or their emission limits has to be within the limits shown in the particular table the table number 2 talks about the dg sunset which has been made for the dg sunset which are below the 19 kilowatt and and called the portable dg sunset so such kind of dg set has to met with these emission standard has shown in table number 2 thanks for watching this video if you really like the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel